All right, look, I'll just start. In a typical high school life, you belong to one nation. But I thought I found a way out. Get citizenship in every nation. Greg, how was your summer? Summer? What does that word even mean? Like, more some? <laughs> Be on low-key good terms with everyone in a way that is invisible to everyone else. Oh, God. Over the years, I mostly hung out with Earl. He's more like a co-worker. But we like the same things. Judy's. Anyway. Honey. Jesus. Your father and I want to talk to you about something kind of sad. What? What happened? Love me, girl. Don't you stay? You're friends with Rachel. Not really. Your test was today. Uh, test. I've been there. Rachel's been diagnosed with leukemia. All my life. I Just give her a call. I was lying. I don't need your stupid pity. No, hey, I'm not here because I pity you. I'm actually here because my mom is making me. It's actually worse. Yeah, I know. Oh, my, my, oh, hey, hey. Just let me hang out with you for one day. Is that a black power salute? I was going in for a fist bump. We can't fist bump you from up here. I mean, like that. So you and Greg are co-workers? We make films. We've been making them since we were little. That's it! <laughs> that was good. So if this was a touching romantic story, then suddenly we would be making out with the fire of a thousand suns. But this isn't a touching romantic story. Anyway. Yep. So how are you? For real? It is so much harder than I thought it would be. Dude's terrified of calling somebody his friend. You will regret that. I realized the most important thing you could do. You need to make a film for Rachel. You have to understand what it does when someone touches your life. It knocks you flat out. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you love this girl? Uh, what? You're a good friend. No one has done more to make me smile. And no one ever could. You guys gonna be getting busy on my new Tuscan leather, huh? No, I think... What's that? I, no, we're not. What?